complete the table of values for the following. So what we're going to do is we want to uh, complete, we want to substitute x into x cubed, subtract 4x for each of these values, 1, 2, negative 1 and negative uh, 3. So what we're going to do is get the calculator out and I'll, I'm going to actually show you a couple of different ways to doing this on the calculator. Some ways that hopefully would really, really help you in the exam. Okay. So here we go. So the first thing is you could just use brackets and we're going to substitute in one first of all. So we go one cubed, okay, subtract, and then we're going to go four brackets and we put our one in like that. And we're going to get negative three. So we go negative three. Then what we could do is go back to this calculation and substitute in the other values. So substitute into there instead of the one and substitute into there in, instead and we get zero. And then we go back and substitute in negative two. So I'm going to change that to a negative and change that to a negative. And we get zero again. And then we're going to substitute it to negative three. So change it to negative three and change it to negative three. Now it was vital here I had the brackets. If I did not have the brackets, this would not have worked at all. So there we go. Now another way of doing this if you have this FX991ES calculator, what you can do is as follows. You can actually put in X cubed, right? Subtract 4X um, like that. Press calculate and you want to put in negative 3. There you go, there's the answer. You want to put in negative 2. There you go. You want to put in 1, press calculate and 1. There's the answer. If you want to put in 2, press calculate, put X is 2 in, there's the answer. So that's really useful. The last thing you can do, which is even more useful, you can go mode and table. You can type in your function up here. Our function is x cubed subtract 4x. And you press equals. It's asking you what x value you want to start at. Let's start at negative 3. You want to end at 3. And you want to go up in 1s. There you go. There's your table. Negative 3, negative 15 negative 2, 0, negative 1, 3, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, um, 2, 0, and 3, 15. Very, very useful for you. So now we're asked to draw that uh, graph on here. All we've got to do is plot the points. Negative 3 with negative 15. Negative 3, negative 15 is here. Negative 2, 0 is here. Um, what have we got next? Negative 1, 3. Negative 1, 3. There you go. Um, 0, 0. Uh, 1, negative 3. So 1, negative 3 is here. 2, 0. 2 across 0 is here. And the last one is 3, 15. So 3, 15 is going to be up here. And we know a cubic graph looks something like this. So we're going to draw our cubic graph looking something like this here, going up, going up here to our point at the end. So it looks something like that. 